In this video, I want to look at how to quickly and easily set up a character preset for Genesis 9 with the postload settings customized. The easiest way for me to do this is to go ahead and load a character first. So let's just load Victoria 9. Once we've loaded Victoria, we need to customize her to become our character. So first thing I'm going to do is go into the parameters pane, look at currently used, and I'm going to turn Victoria off. There we go. Her proportions are gone and her character is gone. So if we switch out back to currently used, all we see is the resting focal point, the mouth realism, and navel HD, which are ones that we want to have. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the label. So just slow click twice on there and we'll call it um, JD because my name is Josh Darling. So my initials or whatever your PA name would be, throw that at the beginning and then whatever your character name is and you're good. Now uh, also how you want it to render needs to be set up. So if we go to mesh resolution, we have render sub level three. This is a, a base level uh, morph that I'm talking about. Um, so I'm okay with this as the default setting. If I was doing an HD character that was sculpted at level four, then I would want to increase my render sub level to four, but we don't need that. So let's move on. The next thing you wanna do is customize the skin. So apply my character's skin. I'll just go ahead and apply Angela. All right, and then we want to set up our morphs and I'll just go ahead and randomly pick something, but you should at this point already have your character created. So you would dial that up, but I'll dial up the character and I, I, I might as well use the proportions too, because there are proportions for. Dial both those things up and now go back to currently used. You can see we have everything we need right there. Now what we want to do is customize our eyebrows because maybe we don't want to use the same ones as Victoria and I did. Go to anatomy and we got our eyebrows listed here. Usually uh, you're going to want to use the eyebrows that come with the Genesis 9 starter essentials. Those are always going to be the ones that don't have the extra text after the numbers, such as thin, thick, high, low, whatever. And then there are also fiber styles as well. So I'm going to go through here and find the one I want to use. And let's go with seven. Okay. Yeah, I like that one. Now this is a, this is the fiber one. And so one thing that you need to do once you've applied your eyebrow, there are two things actually you want to do. Uh, we are going to browse to this file and it's going to pop up a folder and we are using fiber style seven. We're going to copy that. And then we need to go to the map directory that we have where we're going to save our character stuff. I like to do it in its own custom place. It's a little bit inconvenient as far as setting it up initially, but it's way easier on the back end when you go to package up your files. So I always like to use my own custom uh, project folder when I do this. So this is going to go into the data folder. I've already got this figured out. All right, so we're gonna to go to this path right here, script loads folder, but usually Daz wants us to have our own folder inside there where we can organize things. So I will create one for my character. I've named this JD my character. Could also just make it your own PA folder. Maybe I just call it Josh Darling. Um, and that's fine and I can put all my character stuff in there, whatever you wanna do. So I've got my folder and I'm going to paste that eyebrow that I had in there and I'm going to rename it to JD, my character underscore eyebrows dot duff. So this is that eyebrow preset that loads these eyebrows that ship with the Genesis 9 starter essentials. Now, next thing you wanna do is you wanna make a note of what the name is. So if I select the eyebrows and right click on scene tab, go to scene identification, this pops up and it'll tell you the name, the asset name which is G9 eyebrows or eyebrow fibers. All right, if it would be the card ones, it'd be G9 eyebrow cards. So this is important to note. You can copy it and paste it somewhere and hold that there for a while if you want, or you just remember that it's fibers. But either way, make sure you have that noted down. 
Now I want to also save a material preset in that same location. Now this is a hierarchical material preset and it's for all your add-ons, your eyelashes, tear, eyes, mouth, and the, and the eyebrows. So I'm going to go ahead and file save as hierarchical material preset. Uh, my folder is, uh, oh, where is this? Now I want to name this JD, my character, add on mat. I'll just uncheck the figure and then everything else will be checked. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this up. You can see here we've got the add on mat. We don't actually need these. PNGs, let's delete those. But now we've got this all set up and this is in preparation for us to save our character preset now. All right, I have my character relabeled. I've got all the settings correct, all the morphs correct, and I'm going to save my character. Now the character goes in the same place for all Genesis 9 characters. in the characters folder, all the character presets get saved. So let's just go down here and save a character preset. JD, my character. Now when you hit save, it'll pop up this dialog and there will be a script path that'll already be populated. Click these little arrows over here, pop up a new dialog, and it's going to list all the different pieces. Now we already know we want these, but there are, there are a couple customizations that we need to do now. First is the eyebrows. We can see that it says G9 eyebrow fibers, and we are using a fiber one, so this is perfect, the asset name is good. And then the asset file is incorrect because it's pointing to uh, Victoria 9. So let's go ahead and right click on that, set item from file location, and then we are going to browse to the eyebrow file that we saved. And then the next thing we'll do is browse to our hierarchical material preset. That is all the customization we need to do. Hit accept. And we're done. Let's go ahead and test this to make sure it all worked right. Okay, it loaded our character in and it has the correct morphs applied, correct materials, uh, the correct eyebrows, everything is good and we are done.